Yo, what is going on, we gang, aka the champions? We are back here with another video. If you guys don't know, my name is Javrion, Javrion, whatever you guys want to say. But today, I'm going to be doing another Madden NFL 18 tip video for you guys. So before I go ahead and start the video, remember hit that like button, comment down below what you guys want to see me do else about tips, and yeah, support the channel. So, today I'm going to be talking about how you guys can become a better Mutt Squads player. Now, essentially, becoming a better Mutt Squads player is basically some of skill and some of luck because sometimes the game just cheats you. It is in comp mode, so if you play head-to-head -head games, you know your users will come in handy. So, if you guys want to know how to use it, go ahead and watch my dude, Tay the God's channel. He just put up a video how to use a lurk and all that. But, my tips for you guys is once again watch that video and you guys have to play as a team that's why it's called mud squads because if you guys aren't a squad you guys will not be good if you guys really want to take this seriously you guys have to be in the same party you guys have to good have good communication you guys can't call bad plays you guys have to have the same vision and basically the vision to win for example if someone is the quarterback and they tell you to do a certain route and you don't do that route it's not going to work because the quarterback told you what to do and you didn't do it so it's gonna fail if you guys don't have that chemistry it's not going to work another tip you guys have to do is always play zone now in my opinion on defense the best way to play defense if you guys are running a 3-4 everybody uses a linebacker because no one really wants to use it as safeties or corners because if you aren't paying attention, you will get burnt. The other team is scoring every time. So if you guys aren't paying attention, it's going to go horrible. Now, let's go back on offense. So another tip for you guys is if you guys want to establish the run game, the person who's going to be blocking for you on the run, do not control the offensive alignment at all. If you control the offensive alignment and you don't know what you're doing, the play will go bad and don't control the lead the lead blocker fullback either because basically this is the main focus on musquats if you don't pay attention you have to control your player yourself if you're not moving your character left or right or wherever they're supposed to be it's not going to work for the whole team because the whole team needs to go in and do stuff this is not the same team up back from the old matters where the computer automatically move your people that's not going to happen if you are a wide receiver and you don't move when the ball is snapped you aren't moving now i understand there's a glitch going on where you can't move at all but you have to run and get open and try to run good routes too because if you don't run good routes and you run into coverage the quarterback's not going to be good qbs you guys have to have the vision. I'm talking about you guys got to have some Drew Brees vision type stuff. You guys better go back and matter 06 with QB vision and do something. Because if you guys do not do anything, it's going to be bad. The whole team going to fail. I've been playing with some people and me and the other person who aren't the quarterback, we know what we're doing. But the QB is the reason why we fail because QBs, if the wide receiver center are open, throw them the ball. Like, don't try to run, don't try to do anything. If the pocket is collapsing, then you scramble. If the pocket is fine, stay in there because the more far that you go back, that makes the offensive lineman do more work trying to cover you, cover you in the back, and it's gonna be bad, bro. Essentially, it's gonna cause unnecessary sacks, in my opinion. So, QBs, you guys gotta be alert. But anyways, those are my tips to how to get better at musquash. I know there's a lot more stuff you could do. This is a new mode, so we'll see if it becomes competitive. If it becomes competitive, I'll let you guys know some more tips you guys could do. But anyways, my name is Javrion. I do videos like this all the time, so hit that like button for some more Madden 18 tips and tricks. And I'll let you guys know how I feel about your comments. Anyways, you guys, you already know. Remember to eat your Wheaties and stay champions because champions, all we do is win. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.